So the consequences then of these axioms is that if you accept these axioms, you can construct a valuation function that is meaningful. Now, the value, it is only meaningful in terms of ranking. That is, I can say, given a set of alternatives, I can talk about the first, second, and third in terms of which is my ranking for them, but I can't say with any meaningfulness that one is twice as valuable as the second, or the second is uh, one and a half times a third, and so forth. It is not a cardinal distances um, don't particularly count. In the same way, any function uh, of this sort, um, there, are, there are many that there are monotonic, uh, monotonic transformation is, is an equivalent value function. For example, if I take this function of these two variables and I say I have x squared uh, time, x squared, one x1 squared times x2, and I lo take logarithm of it, this second one here will have rank uh, combinations of x1 and x2, these two qualities, in the same order as this other one, but the numbers uh, can't be interpreted as being uh, uh, meaningful in terms of one being twice as good as the other because of the monotonic transformation. So it's good for ranking. That, as you can appreciate, that is the um, limits, uh, that, that limits the kind of uses you can make of evaluation function. So I think you're ready, Indra, for another pause and poll. Uh, so if you are, please launch it. Well, it seems like there's a clear uh, special interest in the monotonicity one, which is okay. So um, let's stop the poll now. Uh, we got the, I got the message. Uh, and I'm open to discussion of it. So somebody would like to pose a question about something that they would like clarification on or more discussion on or, or what have you, please go ahead. And you have a specific question or would you just like the professor to go over the principle again? Yeah, so Stuart has a question. What is a monotonic transform? Uh, a monotonic transform is something like taking a log or multiplying everything by three or uh, divide, uh, taking a square root, something that does not change the ordering uh, that's associated with it. And there's a large class of them, let me put it that way. So the point to be taken is that if you have a, a valuation that is x1 squared times x2, uh, you, have a, you have numbers coming out, but those numbers don't particularly mean anything uh, if you subject it to any one of these transformations, like a square root or logarithm or whatever, that will give you, uh, will transform that uh, original function, you have something that is equally going to give you the correct ranking. Uh, and so there's just lots of different possibilities. So to say that one measure of x1, x2, x1 squared, x2 is 50, and the other one is 30, uh, the comparison of two things, uh, doesn't say that w one is um, 60 per 67 percent better than the other because that is uh, or that 40 that 30 different 20 difference makes any sense it's you know, that number can be manipulated that's that's the point of that is there's no one way of doing it that's that that is the point 